going on, non-fungible fam? It's the non-fungible five here again. I'm here today with Deep, my co-host, and we're here today to talk about three projects in particular. But before we do that, give us a follow on Twitter, guys. We are at 52 followers, and we did hit that 100 subscriber mark. So we are having a 0.1 ETH giveaway right now. All you have to do is follow us, like, and retweet our pinned post subscribe to our YouTube channel and post a screenshot in the comments of our pinned post and tag three friends in that comment as well. So we're going to be running that for about a week because again, we're kind of small right now. So we want to give people enough time to actually enter the giveaway. I wanted to mention that um, we're also going to be improving the actual production of our quality of our videos. So you're going to be seeing um, the actual quality of videos being better and it's gonna be more entertaining, I guess you could say. And then in addition to that, we're also going to be uploading more frequently and we're going to be opening up our community Discord soon. So we can actually engage with you guys and you guys can get information more in real time. All right, what's up guys? So the first project we'll be talking about today is called Blank. And this is a very low supply project. It only has a 400 supply. and as of right now we don't know much about it but it seems like a pretty unique project as it's like a, has drawing aspects to it and if we go look in their website as it says and you unleash your creativity and you guys can actually draw whatever you guys want on the actual website and then you actually submit your art and you just put your discord in and you know get your art submitted if your art is unique and stands out and the the owners actually like it they might actually get you a whitelist um, not in the Discord as of right now, so I don't know too much about the project. Maybe the Discord has more information, so if you guys get into the Discord, you might find out more. But as of right now, it seems like a pretty unique project. Also, you can see that if you want to go back to the Twitter deep, that they've had some pretty good collabs with um, Gajira, if you scroll down, uh, and Limited there. If you keep scrolling down, I think they've had some other collabs as well. Um, yeah, Dream Protocol. Um, the mushroom clubhouse okay ape list so they've had um collabs with a couple of pretty decent um big projects so considering it's a low supply and it has that really unique angle of actually being able to dry your nft um i can see this doing really well and plus it has 22k um followers and the engagement on the twitter seems relatively well as well. So the next project we're going to talk about is Skaterbirds. So Skaterbirds is a project of 3,333 community birds. And they're really big on humility is bigger than hype. So if you just kind of scroll down and look at the art, if you want to like pull that up, that picture right there. Um, the art looks really cool. It kind of reminds me of like Freelanders and like Lonely Pop. It's really um, simple and cute and tends to do well. Um, we also have, we can go into their team a little bit. We have GWeb3, which is the engineer and the community manager for Kaiju Friends. So some prior experience in the NFT space right there. And then we also have Klissik, who is actually the former um, ex-director for Zara, which is a really large clothing company with 1.3 million followers and also formerly worked at Bershka, which has 447,000 followers. So it's nice to see that they have people who have worked for, who number one, have cultivated communities in the NFT space. And then also somebody who's worked for one of the biggest brands, companies in general, actually at a point in time in the world another former member of the team is by me she's actually the artist for skater birds and as you can see this is our website it goes over who she is and she's from thailand she's very talented as you guys can see her artwork right here she has a lot of very unique art and it honestly fits with the meta right now as it's like cartoony and it reminds me of three liners as well as lonely pop and she also has a foundation and if you can see right here she has created three or four art pieces actually and she sold three of them and you guys can see the art is actually very unique i actually really like the art it's very colorful and gives a lot of a lot of good vibes in my opinion it gives it just seems very unique i haven't seen a lot of art like this but it, it honestly reminds me a lot uh like lonely pop as it's very colorful 
So Skaterbird is actually very big on organic growth. As you can see in their bio, it says humility is bigger than hype. And they're trying to build a community that's actually, that would honestly hold their NFT and not just sell it as they want to build a community together and not just overall make this community a hype based community. So a pump and dump type of thing. They actually want to grow this community and build it with uh, organically as you know more people can be intrigued so yeah overall it's just nice to see a low supply project that you know it's it has followers like a decent following and it's followed by the right people in the space and honestly like i've seen a lot of hype projects that can have like over a hundred thousand followers and they're barely over mint price but this art is really appealing and i have like a gut feeling that i got similar to three landers and that was a pretty good call on our part so um this is kind of giving me really similar vibes but it has its own unique style so that combined with its low supply and organic community i can see this doing really well regardless if there's additional utility or not again we don't know because we're not in the discord but if it is just an art based project I think they're doing it really right because it's really just simple and cute and appealing and that's a niche i feel like a lot of people can get behind i also wanted to mention the collabs that this project already has they had some big very big collabs such as cool cats as well as tasty bones as well as dipples and uh, ninja squad which are all big projects and have done performed very well in the space which just shows that this project also could have potential to do very well as they're associated with some pretty big names so yeah for our last project we actually literally know nothing about this project it's called bubble world however if you actually if you look at some of the people who are following them um some notable names is pickle rick who is the llama her staff and collab manager nft nate doge pound uh, Bento Boy, Ryan Decrypto, NFT Llama, um, Ramo, who's the founder of the Habibs, um, Matt Crypto, uh, Tokoa, uh, Devil's Nair Fizz, who's the project advisor and head mod at Clementine's Game, and Crypto Gorilla. So a lot of really notable names when there's like nothing about this project. So I'm not even sure if it is like an NFT project per se, like a normal one, like where like a mint to pre-sell or it could be like a marketplace or some sort of thing but it's definitely in the nft realm or domain but not sure if it's a project but definitely something to keep an eye on that's basically it for today again we're going to be uploading a lot more often now so from the usual two videos per week it's going to be more um, on the end of three to four videos per week and within the coming weeks we're going to improve the actual quality of our videos through um, production and editing that's going to improve lastly is the discord's opening and the giveaway so again enter that giveaway on our twitter if you guys want to win that point one eth giveaway we're really small so you guys have a really good chance to win so enter and make all your friends enter who are in the space it's a good idea have a good one non-fudgeable fam peace